pareidolia, or seeing faces in everything. You're tuned in to Ned Ned Nerbs, a schizophrenic. This is day 37 of 100 symptoms. Slowly but surely, I know I can identify 100 unique examples of symptoms of schizophrenia, schizoaffective, bipolar, and related psychotic disorders. My goal includes foremost the raising of awareness as to reduce the suffering these interrelated conditions cause to individuals, families, and society. Please share the video. Pareidolia is the general term for visual phenomena where patterns are mentally imposed on random stimulus. Basically, you see things that aren't there due to some kind of overlay and comparison process. Often people see human characteristics and shapes in visual patterns. Most often, the way I've heard neurodiverse people put it is seeing faces in everything. This has been an ongoing feature of my visual experience since late high school, when I was showing more and more signs of psychotic disorder. Obviously to me, there's something about pareidolia that indicates a high capacity for psychedelic art, creating, participating, or observing. But also it is kind of very distracting. Sometimes when I look down at the ground, or the side of the alley, or look up into the trees or at the clouds, I see strange, sweet, and monstrous faces looking back at me. The fact that this is kind of a brain-related symptom is indicated by my experience of pareidolia varying widely from day to day and month to month, depending on stress and activity. It is not just more stress equals more pareidolia. That's not it. There's something tidal and seasonal about it, like it is strong for a time, then weaker, which I've noticed happen in my hypnagogic imagery before sleep, too. This month, this year, I've been seeing faces around. <laughs> It's somewhat like a low-level psilocybin effect, but the rest of my experience feels basically normal. It trips me out. Two small ovals for eyes, some marks for shape and nose, a space for some teeth or a phrase to chatter forth. Faces are easy to conceptualize for a human brain, so it is a bit weird, but perhaps to be expected in certain situations when the brain is somehow triggering the firing of facial recognitions, even when looking at an abstract painting or an actual tree. Something seems mixed up, like the brain of a psychotic person might be hyper aware of facial expression, but part of it is that hyper aware meets hyper flexible. Part of this is also seeing alternation between precise expressions at random. It's worth noting that indeed psychotic experiences also include disordered perception and behaviors when interpreting faces, emotions, and communications made by real humans around them. So my goal is to reach a wider audience. So share this video to help me reduce the suffering caused from psychosis by raising awareness of the condition. Stigma is what I won't tolerate. I promote inclusion. Thanks for your help. Thanks for tuning in to 100 Symptoms. I am Ned Ned Nerb, the Schizophrenic. Please comment below, have you seen faces in anything? Subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time.